what it is, YouTube, man. Big T Ward. Make sure you like my shit. Comment and subscribe, man. Join the Big T Ward movement. Keep your notification bells on so you know when I'm dropping any new content, man. All right, guys. Make sure, man, you hit that subscribe button. Hit the join button, man. If you want to support the channel, make sure you hit the join button, guys. The thanks button, man. Definitely, definitely appreciate it. But let's get into it, man. All right. Uh, Y'all saw the title, thumbnail, man. It's going down August 3rd. Uh, we're a few days away from Crawford versus Madrid Hall, man. Uh, Y'all know Terrence Crawford, man, pound for pound king. Just moved up to 154 pounds. Just dethroned my boy Spence. You know what I mean? Last year, you know, for the uh, undisputed titles, man. So let me get right into it. Let me get into it. I recently saw Terrence Crawford and Eddie Hearn going back and forth, having words, whatever. whatever. I thought he got a little serious for a moment. I think Eddie Hearn tried to dial it down and try to make a joke, you know what I'm saying? Because Crawford was all serious. Then I think he tried to, you know, make a joke in between, try to calm the tension, you know. And, uh, cause, you know, Crawford competitive as hell. So, you know, I think <laughs> I think uh, Eddie Hearn know that, you know. And also, he tried to use a little tactic, man, trying to get up under the proper ski and, you know, take him off his mental, you know what I mean? So, but, uh, you know, Crawford going up, man. You know, he's finally getting that superstar recognition, you know, uh, after he beat Spence. I think that just really, you know, put him up there and all that, man, because, you know, Spence was carrying that torch, man. Everybody wanted to beat Spence. So it wasn't really about beating Terrence Crawford, man. So it was about beating Spence. So that gave him that that elevation. Now, don't get me wrong. Crawford, best fighter, you know, he, he solidified himself, being at the top, being a man. So no shade from that, man. I'm a Crawford fan. You know what I mean? Uh, Spence is my guy. Now, I think that in that fight, like I said before, Spence was off. So to, to kind of answer some of the comments that I got, you know, uh, like you saying, man, Spence was off and, you know, and y'all making excuses for Spence now and this, that, and the third. So I'm sorry about saying, I don't make excuses for no fighter. You know what I mean? And I'm definitely not making one for Spence, even though that's my guy. I think Spence was off. You can see it in his eyes. I don't think he was all there. You know, uh, like I said, I don't know if something was going on in his training camp or personal life. Don't know. But something was off that night. Reason I say that, because Spence's timing was way off. Even though Crawford, you know, was faster. You know what I mean? I, I expected that. Even before they even fought, I said that uh, Crawford ended up beating Spence in the speed department. You know what I'm saying? Because I felt he was faster than Spence. Um, I didn't feel like he was stronger than Spence. I felt he was faster. But no shade against Crawford, man. He went in there and did what he needed to do. He won. Beat, beat Spence easily. He made it look easy. And the reason why he made it, if you know boxing, man, he made it look easy because his timing was on point. He was catching Spence in between shots. So if Spence get ready to throw a shot, Crawford already hit him. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't very harsh, you know, shots or whatever the case. It was just, you know, his timing was there. So all the Spence force coming forward and all Crawford got to do is just basically stick his arm out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And Spence running right into the shots. You know, literally, he's running right into him. So that knocked Spence down a few times. You know, uh, I'll say Spence wasn't the same and you won't be the same either, man. If you have an accident, you know, you get thrown out of a Ferrari or any car, you know, going at that, going at speed, you get thrown out of a car. And nothing was broken on you. Now, me personally, I believe something was broke on Spence. I think he hurt himself some kind of way, man. I think he broke a leg, some ribs, or something, bro. Because if you broke bones in your face, like you broke your jaw, you broke something else. And I don't think they really wanted to put that out there, like they use it as an excuse, you know, for him. Hey, when you fight somebody, oh man, they got an excuse now because you know the accident itself was already the excuse. So anything else that come behind it. You know, oh, man, I didn't want to say it was an excuse. So they, I think that's why they kept the excuses away. That's why they kept the whole, you know, we don't want to give him this because they're going to say it's an excuse. You know, we don't want to say he broke this and he still fought and, oh, it's an excuse. That's why he lost. And so I think they want to kind of keep that down. So that's why Spence said, nah, man, you know, uh, I don't make no excuse. So, you know, Crawford didn't do nothing special that night. Crawford just went in there and he was Crawford. That's what he did. He went in there and did his thing like he always do and win. You know what I mean? So, you know, hand off Crawford, man. Now, for them to get that rematch going, which I think is going to happen, uh, people try to count it out. You know what I'm saying? But I think they're on that 
that course to meet back up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's if Crawford don't move up and fight Canelo and stuff like that. Now, manager off, you know, standing in the way of making all this stuff happen. Okay, so, so I believe manager off got some skill after watching some of his fights. You know, he got some skill. He moved well, good, good footwork. You know what I'm saying? He got punching power. You know, he fight orthodox, but he put his hands down a lot too. So another one of his uh, flaws that I see, he put his hands down a lot. You know what I'm saying? And he tried to fight with the whole showboating like Roy Jones type shit, and he tried to hit you with flashy shots. Thing is with that, Crawford gonna catch you. Crawford gonna catch you in between your shots. So why you throwing or why you act like you gonna throw, Crawford gonna throw with you. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's gonna be Magic Mouth downfall if he does that. Now, he might go in there with his guard up. He better. You know what I'm saying? But I think he's going to be in there conservative. He's not going to come out like he need all the rest of these dudes. You know, and Crawford's not going to come out like he need all the rest of these people. You know what I'm saying? Crawford never come out and start very, very fast-paced. You know, he's a dude that's going to sit back, you know, gather all his thoughts, you know, gather that data, download it. That's it, man. But uh, y'all let me know in the comment section if you think, you know, that what Crawford does or you think he's just a slow starter. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but do you think he deserved that? You know, you think Spence deserved a rematch against Crawford or Crawford says, uh, you know, fuck it, move up and fight Canelo. You know, y'all let me know in the comment section, man. But uh, I think Mary Jamal, man, going to come out more conservative. You know, he going to come out more mindful. You know, he ain't going to do nothing really too crazy unless he start to feel comfortable. And I think that's what Crawford going to really set him up at. Going come out, make him feel comfortable, make him get loose. You know, he laying a few shots, he's going to get happy. You know what I'm saying? He's going to get trigger happy. And then once he do that, Crawford's going to come with his own thing. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, not saying Mary Jamal is not a good boxer. Not saying he's, you know, this and that. Now, he's actually a boxer puncher to me. In my opinion, he's a boxer puncher. Meaning, you know, he got the skills of a boxer. Move like a boxer. You know, he got the foot, you know, got the foot movement. You know, he got the footwork. He got the punch placement. You know, he got a little bit of defense. You know what I'm saying? Now, what I haven't seen from him, I haven't seen him fighting off the back foot. I haven't seen, you know, I don't know if he know how to fight off the back foot or not. What I seen him, he's on guys. He's on their ass. It's pressing them. Same way Spence did, right? Because, like I say, Matt Jamal, a lot stronger. He's built like a, like a Canelo. You know what I'm saying? He got that, he got that body build of a Canelo. You know what I'm saying? So, so he looked like a, he could go up to 168 with no problem. You know what I'm saying? They probably would he walk around at anyway. You know what I'm saying? So he looks like that. He got that build. So I think, man, Crawford going up, you know, Crawford ain't got that build like a, a 160 or a 168 pounder. He looks like a, you know, a 47 or a 54 guy. So he in that little range. But I think Crawford, his placement going to be a whole lot better. I think it's going to be way better than Magic because the way Magic Mall throw punches, there's a lot of power shots. It's, it's never nothing setting up. You're never setting up anything. So that's going to be the thing, bro. When it comes to boxing, I think Crawford is best is kind of setting up. So, you know, the guy come out and, and then he, he, he moves. You know what I'm saying? He's moving. He's setting up everything. And once he's setting up stuff, that opens the door for power shots. You know what you know, power punches, uppercuts, you know what I'm saying, hooks, stuff like that. So, Magic Mouth don't set up anything. I think he just go in, throw some power shots, he catch you, get you up out of there. You know, if he catch and hurt you, he jump on you. But does he set everything up? No. So, uh, all the interviews and all this, all the videos that I've seen, all the thing people say is, oh, man, this guy, man, he can punch hard. You know, he got punching power. He got this net, but nobody say he don't set up, he don't set up anything. He don't set up the shot. You know what I mean? He don't set the shot up with a jab, man. He might throw a power jab, you know, but he's not setting up nothing off the jab. He just, he just throwing a power jab. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's my thing when I watch him fight. So when he get a guy hurt, he jump on him. He go to swinging, you know, and it's all power shots. It's, it's nothing, you know, that's, that's precise. He's just throwing power shots. Just get you up out of there. What Croft's going to do? Precise shots. It's going to be, Laser focus, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be them precise shots he's going to throw, going to land them, get Magic Mouth up out of there. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, 
that's going to be the difference in the fight that I think, man. I'm looking. I'm thinking Crawford probably going to stop this dude round eight to ninth round. Eight to ninth round, man. Maybe tenth, but round eight to ninth round, yeah. I, I think I think it's going to be that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, simply being, I think Crawford going to have the better, solid, more precise shots. I think Magic Mark going to clip him a couple of times. You know, I think he's going to get out some good shots. But Crawford going to land the most, the, the most meaningless shots. You know what I mean? It's going to be them shots that, ugh, you know, when he hits you, like, yeah, you know, you're going to know you've been hit. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's what's going to happen. And uh, I don't think Magic Mark going to be thinking about that. Like, you know, everybody telling him, oh, man, you're much bigger than Crawford. And he must, I, can't, I know they're probably telling him that in his camp. So he's going to do that. And I think Crawford going to allow him to get overconfident. You know what I'm saying? I think when he, when he start getting overconfident, you know, but that start happening, Crawford like, okay, I got him. You know, he, he get trigger happy. You know, he start throwing a little bit more, getting a little bit excited. Crawford going to catch him. You know, I'm, I'm looking for a knockdown early, though. I think Crawford probably going to, you know, give him that flash knockdown. And uh, I think once he get that flash knockdown, he's really going to get a little bit, he'll get a little pissed, and he's going to start coming after Crawford. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's going to be something he's going to slip up, get heated early with something. You know, going to be like a little flash knockdown. And I, and I believe that, bro. I, I promise you. Because Crawford do that. You know what I'm saying? He get that little flash knockdown stuff, man. And that's it. Be the shot you don't, been, you know, you don't see. Catch you. Put you down. You know. Uh, but I think once Crawford get a taste of that power, and like I say, if Magic Mall don't have Crawford, like, guessing and thinking, nah, it's over. You know. So I think Magic Mall going to have to really hit him with something to make Crawford kind of fight off the back foot, like, all night. You know what I'm saying? Not when Crawford want to fight off the back foot. He's going to have to make Crawford fight off the back foot. You know what I'm saying? And uh, But it's going to be dangerous for Magic Mall, too, because Crawford is a good, good fucking counterpunch. So, you know, you can't play counterpuncher with a counterpuncher. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's gonna be, I'm telling you, man, it's gonna be a chess, it's gonna be a chess match, man. Right? I'm telling you, he's gonna be playing chess, Crawford gonna be playing chess, Magic Mark gonna be playing checkers, man. I'm telling you, man, all power moves. It's gonna be all power moves, all power shots he's gonna be throwing, and they're not gonna land. They do land, it's not gonna, you know, cause Crawford no problems. You know what I'm saying? If it doesn't, like I always tell y'all, it's good night, Irene. You know what I'm saying? So if he don't, you know, that's that's my thing, man. I think Crawford's win the fight, you know. Uh, like I said, it's going to be a late stoppage. But I think, I do think Marriage Jamal is going to put up the best fight he can put up, you know. Uh, I think he's going to land some good shots on Crawford because Crawford do get tagged, you know. He get hit with some shots sometimes. And, uh, but if he hit Crawford with his best shot and it does nothing, it's a long night. It's a long night, man. So he's going to have to hit him with something, man, to make him, like, okay, <laughs> like, let me, let me get my shit together. Let me bag up. And, you know, and that's what's going to have to happen. If not, man, you hit Crawford with your best shot and Crawford stands there and take it and eat the shot, imagine my ain't got no chance, bro. No chance. And okay, he's going to be over from that from that point. If Crawford only had that, that hurt look on his face, like, okay, you got me, and all that, and Crawford bags off. Now, nah, y'all know if Crawford get hit, he go right back into it. You know what I'm saying? So if he get hit and, don't stay back. Well, if he stays back, okay, you might got a little chance, a little shot. But if you hit Crawford and he steady coming, you can hit it with your best punch. Nah, nah. It's pretty much done, man. It's done for Magic Mall. Tell you, I'm telling you, man. But I'm looking for a good fight, man. I hope the fight lives up to the hype. You know, uh, you know, hoping Crawford come out on top because I want to see him and Spence go at the game. So uh, I want Spencer win his fights against against Fondora, man. That's what I want. You know what I mean? I want to see the rematch, and that's it. Once they fight the second time, you know, ain't going to be no debate. They don't need to fight no more. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, a lot of the good fighters, they fight, man. Like, look at, uh, you know, Pacquiao and uh, I can't think of them, Marquez. They fought, what, two, three times. You know what I'm saying? You know? And I think you need them type of fights, man, to determine, you know, y'all forget about the records, and you got to hope when you lost two fights and who lost one fight, man? They need to get off that, man. Let these guys stop making them guys feel like they washed up because they use they lose one fight. You know, especially as fans, man. You know, you want to see these guys fight, but as soon as they lose, 
Oh man, he garbage. Oh, he garbage, man. You said him just because he lost one fight. It's crazy to me. It's crazy, man. You know, Spence lost one fight. Y'all talking about retirement. <laughs> the dude lost one fight. You no, know, I can see if he's just losing on a, you know, a constant basis. You know, like like Adrian Broner or somebody. Spence lost one fight. And now y'all talking about saying he he need to retire. Like, bro, I, it's 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 unreal. You know, so now nah, man, I don't think he needs to, you know, retire. You know, I think dude's gonna retire on his own terms, you know. Uh, but I think he probably get that fight with Bud, man. I think that's why he jumped in. He wanna go ahead and get a belt. So him and Bud can fight for the belts. And I think that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh ain't no point in fighting just to be fighting. So you gotta be fighting for something. You know, so I think that's what he wanna do, man. Take the belt from Fundora and then get that rematch with Stan Crawford. So, you know, I say I watch it, man. You know, and uh, you know, Spence, I mean, uh, May, uh, uh, Crawford trying to get his big payday with Canelo. You know, once he get that big payday with Canelo, I think he's going to ride off into the sunset and it's going to be over with. You know what I'm saying? Which he ain't got enough proof. You know, it'll be over with. Uh, he don't even really need to collect all the belts at 154, man. I think he win this, Jack. Who else, who else there? You know what I'm saying? The Tim Zoos and all that, they can't beat Crawford, man. You know what I'm saying? They, they can't beat Crawford, out. So, you know, he can win, you know, against Canelo or lose and get him a good payday and dip. You know, that'd, that'd be it. You know, but I think he probably one of them guys that's, you know, going to try to retire undefeated. You know, but like I said before, and quote me on this, I know somebody will get in the comment session and try to get on, but I think Spence will put up a better fight. Once they sit down, they get this rematch going, they want 54, it's going to be a better fight than 47. I, I guarantee you that. I don't, don't count Spence out, man, because he lost one fight. Because they probably lose one fight. The first thing y'all going to do is jump ship. You know what I'm saying? But people going to jump ship. So when he lose one fight, it's over. You know? I, I told y'all you going to beat so and so. And that's that, that the first thing people going to say. So don't jump ship, man, because boy lose one fight. All right? But yeah, that's my take on it, man. That's what I think. As always, man, y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think, man. And make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. Make sure you turn the notification bell on so you know when I'm dropping new content, man. And make sure you hit the join button, bro. Hit the join button, man. If you want to help out the channel, greatly appreciate it, man. Also, keep your merch, man. Just hats, hoodies, man. Of course, I got hats, man. I got, I love hats. Love different color hats, different types of hats, man. I always got, I call these fishnet hats, man. They're good for the summer, so I love these. Uh, Y'all see me with the red hats or the blue hats and stuff like that with a big T wood across the, the front. That's me, man. Make sure y'all support. And get you some hats, man. Get you some merch, shirts, whatever, man. Of course, you know, hoodie season going to be back around. So make sure you get that hoodie season hoodie, man. Let's get it. Let's do it, man. It's your boy, Big T Boy, man. In the meantime, in between time, make sure you like my shit. Comment and subscribe and join the Big T Boy movement, man. I'm your boy, Big T Boy, man. I'm out of here. Too real.